tell me about it later because I'm about to work. All right, ladies and gents, what's up? I hope you guys are ready. Welcome back to another Asian robot stream. Now today, I've just done a quick preliminary assessment in the background, actually. And um, I'm actually testing right now to see what kind of... Um, what kind of, you know, ba basically what kind of uh, build we can make that would make this really, really good. Um, I've actually had a look at quite a few things just to just to see if uh you know um there are any special factors that could make this shall we say better um at the current time all right i haven't uh seen anything i haven't seen anything particularly special about it but what you're actually going to see me do is we're actually going to do a practical combat test because in terms of DPS results, all right, I'm just going to say it straight up at the start of the stream. In terms of DPS results, right, uh, the Earth cell is not drastically different from a standard Bastion build. In fact, if you, you, if you were to use it in the build, you effectively get the same results. Why? Because the Earth cell doesn't contribute any actual damage so you require you require basically two cell slots for it to to reach its maximum uh usefulness and on top of that sacrificing those two slots which could be used for damage um just to get the effect doesn't really contribute plus uh agus is almost a necessity for survival so it is a bit wilder than the standard bastion build but so far, it's presented an interesting alternative, which is why we're about to reforge right now, and then we're going to go do a practical test. So welcome to the stream. I hope you guys understand that this is what we're about to do, and uh, we're going to be moving on and doing that from here. All right. I ask for your patience because this is going to take me a couple of seconds to get organized, and then we're going to, you know, get going. Okay, looks like we're about good to go. Okay, I don't see any other issues. Let's get it done. All right, we'll start off with a standard. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me go check my challenges. Revelation Rock Fortune's Folly Fortune's Folly is here. Let's speak. Let's go to Alric's Peak first and we'll start from there. Best way to get an actual test going. Let's go see how it feels in the field. And we're probably going to need some holy music, so... It's been a while since I put the holy music on. Alright, let's go Knights Templar the shit. all the clipping of the hair on the face. Eh, that's pathetic. Then again, that's about what I expect from Douglas.
Lol, I love seeing the interrupt thing, but no actual interrupt occurred. Gotta love that, right? Hello, Alejandro. Hey, morning, Zeno. I'm doing good. Just testing things. Let's go push it. I'm heading to Fortune's Folly now. Don't forget to like the stream, guys, if you haven't already. Let's see how this uh, cell performs. Could definitely do better. No, my buddy is trying the fire cell. We'll be trying the fire cell next week. I decided to try the earth cell first because it looked more interesting to me.
Okay, Alejandro. I never give first impact ideas, Marco. I'll tell you why. Only morons from the Reddit official Discord do that. Because what I say is often very important to viewers. So I never make any judgment without knowing something and without testing something, my dude. That's the difference between me and other loser content creators. Because everybody wants to give their first impression. What are you going to do when it doesn't work out? You see, unlike others, I have genuine people in my audience, not bots, because I don't buy my views like Mr. Trails, you see? So, for me, I never make a judgment without having facts. That's why I don't do that kind of first impression bullshit, all that kind of rubbish. Because it doesn't help anybody. Only an idiot does stuff like that. Because it doesn't- it also doesn't create any content. It just makes people think you're a fucking idiot. You don't want to be a fucking idiot, do you? That's why before I say anything, before I even make any judgment about anything, I test it. Because if you don't have science and facts, you got nothing, bro. What's my favorite weapon? The chain blades, dude. That's why whenever I test something for real, I do it on the chain blades. They're the easiest weapon to understand. That's so why what you're seeing right now is all this testing. See? I could fake my views like Odo, but there would be no point in that. I could be worthless like Mr. Trails and be a dauntless shill and be a partner, but that's also worthless. Because I don't want to work with a company that doesn't understand that truth and honesty is the most important thing. They can make a hundred billion things that's awesome, but... or sounds awesome, but... It's the reality that matters. In fact, right now, right? The Earth Cell actually doesn't outperform a normal Bastion build. It basically gives you an alternative to the Bastion build, but it doesn't actually outperform. You'd basically get the same results. The only difference is that with, like, for example, when you're using the Earth build compared to, say, a normal Bastion build, you have some extra iframes from Aegis, but... A normal Bastion build gives you more crit, and also you can use the Bastion Slam. The, um, the Earth build does not do that. It does do some decently interesting damage and of course you pair it with assassin's frenzy and things get pretty dicey real quick but overall right i'm not seeing the same kind of uh same kind of raw power so there's good and bad to this there's definitely good and bad what do i think about the strikers i think idiots use them nah i'm kidding strikers are okay as a weapon basically any weapon in the game can be really good but it depends on whether or not you are good with the weapon. For example, I'm pretty bad with the strikers. Like, let's be honest. I'm pretty bad with the strikers. Oh, Marco. No. Trust me. If it was good in this build, I would already use it. I can guarantee you it's not. Never say stuff like, I think this would be good in a build. No, 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 no. Did you do the mathematical calculations? If you didn't create a spreadsheet with all the mathematical calculations, don't think. Test. Science, my friend. Science. Not thoughts. After you do your calculations, then you do a practical test in the, tra in the hunting grounds because you can see the DPS calculation there. Then after that, you do a practical test in live combat like this, which I usually showcase live. So, before I even, before I even work on a build, right? Before you guys even see this part, the mathematical calculations are already done in the background. 
all right that's all done off stream i've already tested it in the training grounds in several different combinations to see what gives the best possible outcome then finally when i'm live on stream you see this which is why whenever somebody tells me have you tried this it's like bro who do you think i am bro you really think i didn't test every single cell with this what you guys see is always the most optimized and most efficient I just, I just tested in practical combat to see whether or not the thoughts in my head will match the actual results. Hey, shoot. I'm doing the practical test. No, Earth, bro. How to get fire. We, I need the second week of Gauntlet before I can get fire, dude. I'm testing Earth first. You're the only one that picked up fire. So I'm gonna test Earth first. Next week, after we get Gauntlet 21 to 40 done, then I'll test fire. Hey, you cannot read the title, is it? Yeah. But overall, Earth is okay, lah. It's... It still does roughly the same damage as a normal Bastion build. My audience isn't bigger because I'm genuine, dude. Plus, also, this is an uh, irregular show. My morning streams are not as popular as my night streams because my night streams I usually like plan in advance. My morning stream is just today I feel like it, so I'll play it. That's why I don't really care. I don't really worry about my viewership either. Like, to be honest, right? Most, unless a streamer is very desperate, they don't worry about their viewership. Because as long as people actually, you know, just watch the videos and stuff, it's okay. Attending streams is important too, but I'm relaxed, man. Another reason my audience isn't bigger is because I'm genuine, like I said. People don't like the way I talk, but I'm the most honest one out there, so up to you. Because I'm not going to pretend to be nice or whatever. I just don't give a shit about like trying to fake, trying to have a fake personality on stream. I just, you know, I'm just myself. Yeah, go ahead, Lady Neo. We'll be doing more gauntlet runs next week. Hey, shoot, when are you free next week, huh? Yeah, go for it, Lady Neo. When you free, we go. We go gonti gont. Tonight is U Watch for me. Let's play some U Watch. Enjoy your nap, Lady Neo. Good night, buddy. I need to use one more patrol key. Theo? Okay, let's go test this out in the event. No, there's no cap for damage boost. You can have as much damage as you want, as you can fit into your build. 
So for damage boost, there's no cap. You can you can just stuff in as much as you want. Yes, there is an attack speed cap, 50%. I'm doing okay, Theo. Ain't no problems on my end. Also, don't forget to like the stream, guys. Why am I only seeing three likes on stream? Come on, there's 12 of you here. If you want me to answer questions, make sure you like the stream first. If you don't like every stream and every video, right, I won't answer any questions. Dudes, if I see you step into stream, I should be seeing, I should be seeing a like as soon as you get in. That, that's common sense and politeness, man. If you really want to support your creators, if you want to interact with your creators, like the stream first. Then I'll answer your questions. If there's 12 viewers and 3 likes, then... Come on, that's not very cool. I'm sure you guys can do better than that, right? Okay, make sure you do it immediately as soon as you get into stream. If you don't do it as soon as you get into stream, then that's not very good. Alright, you must always, always like the stream as soon as you get in. This is very, very important. Okay, in future remember to like it as soon as you come in. If I have to remind you, then mm, I'll be very angry. Now, movement speed, there's no cap either. You can have as much movement speed as you want. So that should answer your question. Good. I'm seeing at least 8 likes now. But there's even more people than that. So, come on. Show me those like numbers, guys. Tempus will never be able to one-shot a behemoth. You can under very, 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 very specific circumstances, but um, for normal combat, no. Even with all movement speed cells, it has been tested and tried. It cannot be done. The only way to do it is with very specific escalation amps and only under very specific circumstances. Then yes, it is possible. But to actually do it, like I said, you need to be in an escalation because of the escalation bonuses and you need very specific amps. Which is why I always tell people, don't ever think about one-shot builds because one-shot builds don't work for practical combat. People put them up on YouTube and pretend that they are actually cool. So, yeah. Ah, that's okay, Ripley. Uh, see if you, because we did it with four guild members yesterday, see if you can actually, um, see if you can actually claim some of the guild rewards. I don't know if you can, but just test it out, because this time you've been in the guild right from the start. So see whether or not you can claim any of the guild rewards. Because we did it with, like, several guild members. So technically speaking, uh, the guild rewards should be there. Oh, hey. Free guild coins. Nice. Yeah, go for it, buddy.
but yeah the reason why i don't do like those one shot builds and all those kinds of stupid theories is because it won't work in the hunting grounds it won't work in the trials it won't work in a lot of places the people only do those kinds of videos to make clickbait so please never watch those kinds of videos and never talk about one shots because they don't exist in dauntless if i see anybody mentioning a one shot i'll just straight up slap you in the face like if you can prove to me that you can make a one shot build that can work anywhere I will bow down to you because it will never happen. I can guarantee it. I am so confident that I will bow down live on stream. If anybody can make a one shot build that works anywhere. It's the same reason why you don't see one shots in trials. They don't exist. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's a single part. As far as I can tell, Marco. But the damage is not that much anyway. So it's an interesting cell, but it does come with its fair share of problems. And overall, the damage is not that high. So for it to actually be worth it, <laughs> they would need to increase the damage by quite a lot. <clears throat> so far, it's not as awesome as I as it, you know you might think. How far away am I from Cold Runner Key? I'm going to test it in a slightly lower hunting ground just to see the uh, overall effect. Silver sword build? No. I may make one in future, but it depends on the amount of support that I get. See, more support equals more content. If I don't see the support, I can't make the content. What do I think of Tempest builds in general? Only the ones on my channel work. So if you want to use Tempest to kill a behemoth, it's possible. But it's only possible with my Dodge Master series. It, my Dodge Master series will work in hunting grounds, escalations, wherever you want. It will work everywhere because it's actually mathematically tested and proven. So yeah, you can actually use that kind of stuff if you want to. The Dodge Master series is well known and has existed for a long time. Um, so you can go look up those builds. They do work and they work very well. They won't one shot like those trick videos because like i said those are trick videos you're you are on a like there is no possible way to one shot without very very specific amps and that is all based on luck and chance there is nobody that can make a consistent one shot build and like i said i will bow down to anyone that can prove that their build can one shot in hunting grounds against a behemoth higher level than them which is the intended purpose of a build you're supposed to be fighting behemoths above your level if you're fighting behemoths below your level, you're not gaining anything. So yeah, sure, you could one-shot a behemoth below your level. What's the point? You're not going to be gaining XP. So yeah, you can use the Dodge Master series, which has literally the highest possible damage for Tempest already built in. Um, it, it, there is no way to get it any higher. But aside from that, there is, like I said, no real way of uh, going beyond that. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. They do that because they they want to make clickbait videos. Like, I mean, it's very popular in other games to make those type of videos. Like, oh, I can cheese this, cheese that. In Wild Hearts, people already showcase, like, dozens of hand cannon cheeses. But is that what you want? Like, is, is that really what you want, you know? I always ask people, if that's what you want, then, you know, go ahead. You can follow those kinds of creators. But if you want real results in games, like, you want stuff to actually work, like you want stuff that actually will get you results then my stuff is the only way to go because what i test and what you're seeing me test right now is all the stuff that you're gonna get so this is why it's important you want the content make sure to support the content 
the more you give me support the more content will be coming y'all want to see the silver sword stuff okay but i need to see viewership i need to see people enjoying the donald's content i need to see the likes on the videos i need to see donations super chats all that kind of things because if i don't receive that this channel cannot continue it's a business all right i'll play other games my time every day is limited so i can only devote a certain amount of time to each game you see which is why it's very important that when you can you know show some love you got five extra dollars a month get a get a low level membership it's worth it because all of that will event will actually help me continue to make content Mm. When it first came out, Aegis did not have a cap. Uh, I can't remember if Aegis had a cap. But yeah, I remember I remember something like that. There were a couple of exploits like that. It often happens in games like this. Yeah, of course there should be a fix in two days. You see using an exploit or or cheesing right is generally is generally looked down upon marco if you do that in games you're not playing the game the correct way and that's what i'm a big like for me i'm a i'm a big proponent of playing the game the proper way so that does no that's still not a one shot at behemoth dude the only time i will say one shotting is real is if under assuming that you have a build but no exploits if you can really kill a behemoth in one shot without any exploits see that's an exploit right then i'd say okay fair enough you know but the thing is nobody can actually do it without using an exploit so you stayed 28 minutes that's an exploit why because you have unlimited shields that built up right so these kinds of things are considered like outside of the normal game what i'm saying is that i want to see people do it under the normal game circumstances that's what i want to see because anybody can exploit a game as long as you know the trick you can exploit the game for example in wild hearts you could just kill amateresu by dropping a training bear and without ever touching the behemoth you can kill it so that that is from a different game in dark tide there are several exploits that have already been patched because like once i once they were discovered i reported them to devs and they were patched and changed because I'll tell you straight up, look. When you exploit a game, you are not working within the system, which is basically saying that, okay, you know what? I want the results without the challenge, you see? Anybody can do that because you're working outside of the system. What I want to see is real results. That's what I want to see. So for me as a gamer, right? If, you, if, if your trick involves any exploits or whatever, I don't want to see that. For me, I only want to see real results. That's why I say, that's why I'm called Real Asian Robot, because only real results matter. Channels can be bigger than mine. Channels can do better than mine. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is, are my videos real? And my videos, I can say, are always real. But so far, this Earth Cell has disappointed me. It's not much stronger than the normal, um, than the normal Bastion build. It's interesting, but not stronger. Which is slightly disappointing, but I mean, well, that's how it is. That's how it is. Sometimes what you think may not actually pan out in reality. That's okay. But that is indeed the life. Yeah. That's the thing, Marco. For me, right? That's why I don't do videos on that. Like, I knew about the exploit, but I don't do videos like that because for me, what matters is reality. It has to be real. 
The reputation that I've built up with my audience is all about reality, you see? So for me, right, if it's not real, I cannot, I cannot go out and say, you know, hey, this is, this is done, that's done. I just can't, bro. It has to be 100% real for me. Now, some people might say, you know, that makes me really stiff, but meh. I am the way I am. I don't know, it's just the way I am. Now, let's try a fight against this evade. I've been dying to see this. I love the fact that I hit this thing and still didn't do squat. No, shields don't pop on dodge, dude. The ESL, the ESL will just use up the shields whenever you're above a certain amount. So it doesn't matter whether you dodge or not. The only thing that I, uh, I could say is popping is my Aegis buff. That's it. That's the only thing that I'm kind of popping. And oh shoot! If you're here in chat, bro, answer me. When you free next week? I want to get the fire cell and testo. You tell me when you're free, la bro. When are you free? You free are uh, when? Wow, this stupid challenge is completing like 600 times. Okay. If you not free, then I will... Thursday night, I can. Can, can, kai, kai. Thursday night set low. Actually, Thursday night is great. Can do, can do trials as well after that. For me, lah. Thursday night we go for fire cell. Well, I'll go for fire cell. You can go for whatever cell you want. Is Silver Sword good? Wouldn't know. Haven't tested it. Maybe. We'll see. I 
at this current point it hasn't been tested so I wouldn't know I didn't play it during Frostfall 2022 because I was busy with my Dark Tide partnership so when I test it I'll let you know but if you want to see all that kind of stuff you want to see more dollars content please be sure to support because if you guys if I don't see enough support I cannot do more content guys so please 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 you want to see the content make sure you're supporting watch streams watch videos share videos like the more support i see for my stuff the more i can do if i don't see the support i cannot do stuff all right if you got five bucks to spare get a membership super chat donate whatever you can do all right because at the end of the day i've got a lot of games to play i've got a lot of different videos and content to make so if you want to see more dollar stuff make sure you're supporting the dollar stuff okay I'll do the best I can, but at the end of the day, I live off this. This is my full-time job, so I go where the money is. No, you can't power surge. You have to finish the quests. So, in order to get all the level effects, I do believe you need to finish the quest line. But the frost sprites, I mean, the Boreas already has them. So, it just depends on how fast the generation rate is. But like I said, I'll work on that probably at a later time. Like, right now, I want to test out this Earth Cell and see. I mean, I can do it. It's not an issue, like... It probably will not take long to do. Based on based on what I've seen in the quest lines and such. It doesn't seem like it'll actually like take long, so I'm not too worried. I'm going good. And again, I'm always going good, so I got no issues on that. Alright, I'm heading to Coal Runner Key and also to pick up the silver sword. I mean, a lot of people can say it's uh, the best frost weapon, but they're not the real Asian robot. When they, those people can talk, when they can prove that it's uh, all that stuff is good. You see, their builds will never be as good as mine. So I don't listen to that kind of stuff. Anybody can say anything, but is it real? You have to judge for yourself. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, Kaish. What's up, man? Let me go grab the silver sword right now, actually. Get the next quest. I don't know what the next quest is. You honor the Belmark Rome. Silver Sword 1. Okay, cool. Silver Sword 2. Cool. Now, the thing is, right, every, anything can be stated as best. A lot of YouTubers will say this is the best, that's the best. But for me, like I said, they have to prove it. So unless they can prove that they can do half the shit that I do, eh, doesn't matter. So I'll test it for myself when I get the chance. But like I said, it depends on how, whether or not people are loving the content. If I see the people loving the content and they want to see more, you know, I'll do more. If people don't be loving the content, then I have to do less, you know, plain and simple. Discipline versus Revenant fully stacked. Uh, that is a very stupid question, Marco, because the reason why it's stupid is because it depends not on the cells itself. 
you can run an independent test, but what I would say is that it depends on your playstyle because there's a lot of theory going around. Theory doesn't matter, you see? If you were to run if you were to run Revenant, don't forget that the tentacles are dealing a lot of damage as well. So are you able to make use of all the tentacles? Are all the tentacles able to hit the behemoth? What about on a smaller behemoth? You see, what about on a faster behemoth where they don't really stay down? So those kinds of questions I don't answer because they are pointless. You understand? Those kinds of questions do not are not like answerable, are not testable. And even if I were to give an answer, it'd be wrong. Because, for example, Revenant is great against creatures like the Pangar. Why? Because you can hit the full body. That's seven tentacle shots. Discipline cannot equal that. But what about a creature like the Savate, which is very small, or the Alira, which is very fast? In those cases, discipline might do better, especially if you can parry. And then how good is your parry timing, you see? So even if both builds were fully stacked, it's hard to say which one is better. Now, on an objective basis, the Trials people, like the losers and no-lifers they are, will probably argue that Revenant is better because Revenant, in most cases, can deal more damage. Especially because the tentacle damage output is very high, and it's independent of waiting for a Behemoth attack. Whereas, Discipline only does damage when you have a Behemoth attack. Alright, so both ways, um, I would say that Revenant, in general, should be the higher one. But it comes down to player style, dude. Not every player can make use of Revenant. And Revenant is certainly more popular in the Trials because it doesn't have a build-up time. Whereas Discipline does. So that's why you will see, like, top Trials timing is mostly Revenant. So I hope that answers your question in the best way possible. But, like I said, there's no real answer to it. Enjoy your international sports, Mateo. Well, I mean, they could be playing football, but maybe they like it's like not a national sport. So that could be the case, Seven. Also, don't forget to like the stream, guys. I want to see more likes on the stream. All right. You want to see more content, you got to be hitting the like button. I want to see more likes than viewers eventually. That's what I want to see. But yeah, I'll I'll give it I'll give it a whirl. Like I'll give the Silver Sword a whirl as soon as I can, but like I said, Please, if you guys want to see more Dolphins content, make sure you're supporting. Liking streams, liking videos, all this is very important support. And the more support I see, the better. If I don't see enough support, I cannot, I cannot commit time to Dolphins. Alright? I'm giving it whatever time I can. But in order to commit time to anything, it needs to be worth my time. It needs to be worth money. So, you know, people might say I'm a money grubber, but at the end of the day, I'm a businessman trying to feed my family. So... I can only do streams and I can only do content that makes me money. So, watch those ads. Support, support, support. The more support we get, the more we do. If I, for example, if I got three times the support that I get for Dauntless, I'd probably stream nothing but Dauntless. Do I play with viewers? Yes, I do, K1. On certain streams. If it says viewers may join in the stream, that's when I play with viewers. If I'm testing something, usually I don't. I do independent testing because the tests must be completely free of bias. Any test that I do must be like fully, um, fully free of any outside factors influencing it. That's why all my testing is solo. But if you want to see more viewer play streams, like I said, support. The more support that I get, the more I will do stuff like that. If there's no support, then I won't do it. Because plain and simple, I I go where the money is. I work with where the money is. That's that's the end of the story. You know? I'm a very simple man. I feed my family through my streaming and my content creation work. Wow, that was bullshit. Frostwolf. Lol. That was fun. Okay, five levels above me. Let's go. Drax is uh, legendary. The UE is related to the bond, so when it's on the legendary weapon, we call that the legendary ability. So just for clarity's sake, but yes, 
It can be interesting to use, if used well. That's the if, though. If used well. Because Thrax UE's like unique point is that it can get you out of trouble. The downside is that, well... It's a, it's a one pump chump. You use it and then it's done. Um, it's possible to interrupt it without taking damage, but it just has an annoying pattern, that's all. Plus, the frost debuff can be very irritating. Fighting it above your level is always a bit more frustrating, but like I said, I'm doing all this to stress test. Like, the purpose of what you're seeing right now is what we call stress testing. We're pushing the build to the absolute limit. Um, the, what I would tell you, Aiden, is that, uh, you would do better with a regular Bastion build. Um, based on, like, you'll see my video probably later tonight, but, um, although it looks like you can do a lot of DPS, it's not. Mateo. You're you're acting like a bot, dude. Nobody blocked you, but uh, if you're if you're here to disrupt the vibes on the stream, right? I'll put you in the timeout box. Same for anyone else, okay? Nobody here blocked you, but if you want to talk random shit and be annoying, then I will just remove you from the stream, okay? Good. Ah, yes. But the like I said, the Earth, right? The biggest problem with Earth right now is that the cell itself doesn't improve damage. So, for example, if you were to run a full team of Bastion, you would actually do better because you can actually use the Bastion jump. So I think what you're talking about is a combo is a combo team using both Guardian and Bastion, which can be pretty insane. Because if everyone grants everybody else shields, right, you can get some pretty insane stacks going, which is which is kind of awesome. And um, similarly, yes, it's also it's also possible to do it with Earth. But uh, what you need to see is the actual numbers, which I'll show in a video later tonight. The, <clears throat> the standardized Bastion build, right, benefits more because of the crits and the Bastion jump. So when I actually tested it out, right, numbers-wise, the Earth Cell... <clears throat> the Earth Cell does slightly less than a normal Bastion build, but it does have one advantage in that you can utilize it, like you said, with teams, or... You can utilize it with the Aegis cell to give you some invulnerability. Which uh, I'm actually... Which is the one thing which I'm kind of like... Attempting to abuse with this build to see how good it is. But it's not as great as I want it to be. Yeah. I know. I'm fully aware of that, Aiden. The DPS will look good, but then again, any team of four can make DPS look very good. <clears throat> but if you actually run the numbers, dude, that's the thing. If you actually run the numbers, it will do some great DPS, but a normal Bastion build, as in the, the standard Frostwolf Bastion, actually does more. Like I said, again, for the reasons I stated above, the Bastion jump uh, accounts, for, accounts for a lot of damage, which you cannot utilize with Earth build. And... Um, the what you call it the earth cell itself doesn't add damage so you can add a lot of raw damage which benefits your bastion jumps as well as your normal weapon swings so although it, it's cool in a team it's not really it's not as good as a normal bastion build but it can be fun it can be fun But yeah, I was actually disappointed because when I when I ran the numbers, I expected it to be better, but I ran the numbers this morning and I did the spreadsheet calculations as well. It doesn't it doesn't compare to a normal bastion build. So it's like an alternative, but I wouldn't like put it as a as a must-have kind of thing. You know? Is Dawnless a live game prismatic? I don't know, you tell me. The only person even making content is me. 
So I'd say this game counts as pretty much a dead game. Besides, the devs don't really care about the viewers, and they never have. So, meh. That's why when people say they want to see Donald's content, I say, look, you got to show that support. You want to see the content? No problem. I got you. But am I making money? If I'm not making money, if I'm not getting the viewership, if I'm not seeing the likes, if I'm not seeing the power, then there's no point. Yeah. Oh, listen, I can stay, I can stay motivated without any support from the devs, but it's the community that's the issue. So like, if I see, if I see the money flowing in, if I see the super chats, the super thanks, the tips, and the memberships, I stick around. If I don't, I move on, you know, plain and simple. At the end of the day, streaming is business. And content is how I feed my family. So I have to go where the money is. And that's why I'm always like experimenting with new ideas, working on new things here, there, everywhere. There's always, there's always new stuff to do. I mean, Diablo 4 is coming out soon enough. I'm actually going to be in the uh, pre-order beta thanks to good folks like Ripley. So I'm looking forward to all that kind of stuff. I like it. But again, at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to games like Dauntless, um, there's a lot of people who play it because it's free. But they also, like, if if the people who can pay don't set aside a little for the robot, then, you know, I can't do much. I'm super pumped for all that stuff, as well as Hogwarts Legacy. That's still on the list. It's just that Wolong and Atomic Hearts also came out. I'm still loving it. Like, man, Atomic Hearts is such a great story. I can't wait for number two. It was such a blast to play through that. Like, later, I'm going to put all the Atomic Heart streams into one playlist by itself. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's why I do content, Prismatic. That's how I feed my family right now. Content and music, mostly. Um, but that's why I'm also very sensitive to pricing changes. It'll probably be a long time for before 2, but... They've already confirmed that it's in the works, so I'm just relaxing until they until they have it. Like, I've got too much to do now anyway. You know, Diablo 4 is going to be a major time investment, and Dark Tide is still growing and ongoing, which is really awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. Like, there's a lot of potential in all the things that I do, you know? That's why, like I said, I'm very sensitive to price changes, you know? Donald's is great, but... There's also a lot of good potential in Dark Tide, which is why I, I'm planning on doing even more content on that next week. And Wolong is freaking fantastic. Wild Hearts is a hugely untapped market, which I'll be working on step by step. So you best believe I'm stoked. There's just so much to do, you know? It's crazy. But that's why I'm so passionate about content creation and music. There's just always so much to do and just it's just so much fun. Like I'm getting my two songs ready for release and I'm just excited, man. They won't, Aiden. They've been dude, they talked about hammer and axe rework for like since for two years ago. Two years was the last two years ago was the last time they mentioned it. 
then throughout the whole of last year they they mentioned it back when odo was still working on content it never happened so yeah it's all good bro i i just i don't think it'll happen because it never happens like i've never seen them actually fulfill a promise like that so my honest answer is that it ain't gonna happen <laughs> yeah nah I, I i all i can say is doubt also hang on i'm just gonna run the one minute of ads for those who do watch the ads you will be loved Oh, so sorry. I only just saw your message, Rip. I don't, uh, I cannot receive Discord messages. Like, I don't get the ping for them. So I only see them if I happen to swing by the Discord, which I do check occasionally. But just so you know, because when I'm streaming, right, I have to turn Discord notifications off. Because Discord, otherwise, it'll go keep going ping, ping, ping. Because I'm part of, like, different, so many different servers. So thankfully, Discord has a streamer mode. It's usually on when I'm streaming, so I won't see the DMs. But listen, you know, you do you, man. You do you. I'm, I'm, I'm chill. I'm chill on whatever you want to do. But I'll count you as the dollars guy. Now then, let me rip this stuff apart. Like, honest to God, I feel like this game, this game had potential, but meh. Because, like, if you look at games like um, Dark Tide, which is supported by Fat Shark, dude, they actually listen to fans. Like, they, they've listened to the players. They've tried, they've, like, done their best to try and like change the game to fit player feedback stuff like that they've done their best they really have and i really respect them for that you know i i love them for that and that's why i'm so happy to be a dark tide partner because they really they really put in the effort you know what the effort the same effort that the creators show they they put in just as much effort if not more so that is the kind of thing that i just don't see from the dolls devs okay so we're getting to about like the level 10 mark and this is always the testing this is always a major testing point for the builds because around this point if you go into the hunting grounds right and you start soloing this is where you can see whether or not a build really works this is the true ultimate testing ground because here is where the behemoths start to get stronger especially when they're above your level and this is where you can start to see whether or not the kill times are efficient are, or rather are as efficient as you know you'd like them to be we're gonna try and make a slight alteration change here because i'm seeing a bit of a difference between my ideal and what i actually want one second i'm gonna remove this okay let me get that now let's see now let's see if this minor change will alter anything it might if it does that'll be good the closest enemy is the spore struck okay let's go fight it Dude, how did that? How do their how do their own Aether vents fail? But yeah, usually right. If people DM me on Discord, I don't see it. 
because I cannot hear any of the alerts, so I, I don't check it regularly. I'll just check it occasionally, like if I got time. Meh. This game, this game, like, even their cosmetics have, like, millions of bugs, so it doesn't surprise me at all. You see an Aether Vent fail? Yeah. Nope, that's about normal. Oh yeah, now listen. You can ask me anytime. Like, you can you can leave the DMs as long as you don't need an immediate answer. You can leave the DMs and I'll just check it as and when. I'm chill. I'm just letting you know that if you send it but you don't like, for example, you told me that did I receive a DM? I'll say yeah. Then I can go and check. You know, or occasionally if I happen to see it, I'll I'll see it. But if people don't tell me and like, you know, they they don't they don't need to ask immediately, then I'll usually get to it like as and when. Because it depends on the game as well. If it's a game where I'm like caught up and like busy, busy with the game itself, like for example, Dark Tide, then like the mission itself might be like half an hour, so I may not be able to um, get to it before the half hour is up, you know? So that's the kind of thing. That's why I just, I just like let people know the situation, but like as long as they're okay with it, it's all cool. You can, you can DM me. Don't, don't feel like you can't. My DMs are always open. It's just that, you know, uh, you gotta you gotta understand that I cannot answer straight away. That's all. Unless I'm told, because I won't get the alert. If I'm told, then I'll do it as soon as I can. You don't want to be the dumbest guy, then it's okay. Then just be who you want to be, buddy. Then I won't count you as the dumbest guy. All good. Does it like either way? It doesn't bother me. I am more happy if people just generally support. That's always worth more to me. But there are many I know who only watch for the Donald's content, and those ones I always, I always keep an eye on them. Because if they say they want this, they want that, I say, where's the support? You know? You show the support, no problem. You don't show the support, eh. Uh... The, you know, it's like the saying, you gotta put your money where your mouth is. You may retain your title, my friend. You may retain your title as needed. To be honest, I was pl I was planning on playing more Wolong today, but I was like, I really better finish this stuff. If I don't, I know it's going to be a problem. Because I like to know. I like to test things when I get them right away. Get that out of the way. Get it cleared and then move on. Do I play FPS shooters? Of course, Jay. Haven't you seen me? Haven't you seen me play Dark Tide? I, there's a, didn't you see me play Atomic Hearts? I play a lot of FPS, dude. Make sure your notifications are set to all on the channel if you don't want to miss streams. I stream every day, dude. So if you miss it, well, I can't help you there. You gotta take an interest in the content to know what I do. I play a lot of things. And also, every Saturday night, I'm on Twitch. It's only on Saturday night, but that's where we play Overwatch. I play with my friends. So you gotta keep up, man. The robot has a lot of stuff going on. But the people gotta keep up with it. Yep, every Saturday, buddy. Every Saturday.
Technically, there's Deep Rock Galactic as well. Lol. That's another fun one. But that one, I'm gonna organize a day to do that with my buddy. With my buddy. Where is Restless Sands? Dude, Restless Sands is like a low level area. I guess I can do that with the Silver Sword eventually. <laughs> hmm. Blaze works. I can do a whole bunch of these just there. But that's fine. Overwatch is not the type of game that you'll you can play unless you're very good. Yeah, enjoy yourself, dude. I despise Battle Royale, so I'll never touch Apex. And Valorant uh, has way too many problems with Windows 11. So I wasn't able to play that either. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Warframe is nice. But the sad thing about Warframe is that it's too old for me. So getting into content creation on that would be pointless. Kind of like getting into content creation on Destiny. It's hard It's hard to break into the game. In, it's Well, it's hard to break into those kinds of games. Doable, but difficult. Unless you're like very, very hyper focused on it. <laughs> well, listen, as long as you have fun. Right now, I mostly only look at new games because new games is easier for me to establish myself and to create the videos for. Oops, that was pretty bad. Didn't quite expect that. Understandable. Yeah, a controller on the PC for Souls like is starting to seem like the ideal way, but I've just gotten so used to mouse and keyboard even for that. When I'm a bigger streamer, I'll probably get a controller as well for PC. Just for those kinds of like Souls-like games. Damn 
Okay, that was painfully pointless. Like, the first time round, like, this is the one thing which I hate about Donald sometimes. The first time round, right, it sapped my shield without booping him. Because I had the Aegis shield on, which I was going to use for the boot. So, sometimes this game can be very frustrating because of that. That's one thing that the devs have never fixed because they know that, again, this game is free and cross-platform. There are very few, like, there, there are no others like it in the market, unfortunately. So, everybody... So, everybody, like, who doesn't want to pay the more... play the more paid games, they'll play Dauntless instead. Because it's free and easily accessible. And I guess, graphically spe speaking, it's also, like, uh, kid-friendly. Oh my god. The Chainblade boop in the past, right, used to be so good. Ever since they changed things, it's not that fantastic. <sighs> Monster Hunter is difficult. Well, Dauntless is basically the easiest version of games like this. The iframes are super generous. You probably would find Wild Hearts very difficult as well. Wild Hearts is very punishing. But that's part of the fun. Monster hunting type games are supposed to be difficult. With Dauntless, there's just no challenge. So although, like, I do enjoy a bit of Dauntless here and there, there is there really isn't much of a challenge at all. Now, I'm going to switch over to the normal Bastion build. What we're going to see is the difference. Because earlier you watched me play the... Uh, earlier you watched me play the Earth version. Now, here's the normal version. Hello, Terry Swain. Don't forget to keep liking the stream, folks. The more likes, the more support.
Yeah, the regular Bastion build just does way more. Because I can manually detonate the shields. That's that's kind of a thing. And stack more crits because of it. Even if I run the alternative build like Cascade, that also creates some interesting difficulties. You get the legendary chain blades based on the build you want to make. So go through my channel, look up all the different chain blade builds and make make it based on that. Because you need to find a build that fits your playstyle. That's plain and simple. Like there's no there's no specific pathway. Like there's no saying like, oh, this is guaranteed a result. No. The reason why there's so much choice for people on my channel is because choice matters. You cannot choose something that doesn't fit your playstyle. So if you're looking for like what your first one, there's no hard and fast answer. Choose one for yourself. Choose one that you think will suit you. You know, that is the most important key. If you don't do that, then you're gimping yourself and you're only hurting your own experience in the game. So don't be afraid to shop around, don't be afraid to look around and see, you know, see what you might potentially have um, that might be cool for you or that might work well for you, you know, that kind of thing. No problem, Jay. I always have a good day. Well, if you're if you're worried that you're gonna that you're not getting maximum drops, you should be playing a part break repeater, dude. Because, okay, all weapons other than repeaters are less ideal for breaking parts, because only the repeaters, and to an extent the axe, can target a specific part. So, irrespective, you're you're not going to get the results you want. If you're really going for parts, repeaters are your best friend. Because that is what you, you know, use it for.
so that's something i guess you're gonna have to be aware of if you if you really want to go down that path uh it's always better to utilize heaters properly in that manner if you don't then well it's it's a lot rougher it's a lot rougher for you but like when you when it comes to breaking parts though like if you're going for my builds you'd be doing way more damage than most behemoth health yeah i would i would actually recommend the part breaking repeater build it will work a lot better for you if you're genuinely part hunting that is the best choice after you're done hunting all your parts you can play whatever you want and just go for the damage because my builds are all centered around efficient damage they're not centered around part breaking because it's usually people usually just use the easy builds for farming for their farming purposes Overall, still weaker. Yep, definitely weaker. This is no sense in lowering the base, especially if you can dodge. Yep, for maximum efficiency, the other one is better. Hmm, I see. Hmm. In that case, you can take whatever build you want, but what I would recommend is that if the build has Berserker Cells, right, you can always replace some of the damage cells with Sharpened, which will help you break parts even faster. Uh, Ripley, it's not me that cuts out anything. If you post something and it's gone, it's because YouTube doesn't allow links to be posted in the channel other than by the streamer themselves or by channel mods. So if you post a link to anything, this was to combat the, the kind of spam that you see on Twitch. So, and this is a YouTube decision, not a me decision, so I, I literally can't do anything about it. Um, if you try to post a link to something, it will just disappear. So... I'm not the one doing it. Because <laughs> you won't see me actually like move and take any action. It's actually YouTube's own policy to, to cut stuff out. 
I guess in a way because it solves spam issues, but yeah. No, it's not your bad at all. That's just how YouTube works, buddy. Like I said, it's different from Twitch. But for Terry, if you can't if you can't use the repeaters, that's fine. Uh, just stack sharpen on the build. Like swap out two damage cells, throw on sharpened, and you literally will have no problems. You should be able to break most parts. Because the sharpened cells do not increase your core damage, which means the behemoth will not die any faster. It will just increase the actual part damage alone. And that is, well, what you're aiming for, really. Yeah, I think this is superior. No problemo. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> and as long as y'all keep supporting the content, there will always be professional opinions delivered. That is what I'm here for. I promise you that. How long is the stream going to last for? Oh, sorry. I forgot about the screen and um, probably another 15 minutes or so. I don't know. Yeah, I just fixed it, but I don't know how long I'll go for. Honestly, I never plan how long I'm going to do these things until the testing is done because I'm just testing a standardized crosswall bastion build right now. And it is, like I said, it's outperforming by a long mile.
Step on Sakura, here you come. Ah, oh, go for it. Enjoy your Bankai. Artifacts, what? I'm very confused about what you're talking about, Ripley. Did you post this message? Did you post this message in the wrong chat? Otherwise, you're gonna have to explain yourself because I am confused as to what you're talking about. Yeah, this is so much better. Ugh. The waste. I expected better. Mm. Oh, you're talking about the merchandise stuff. I was thinking, well, what is he talking about? Because the Carnifex, right, is a term from uh, Warhammer. That's why I actually use it as well. The the term that I use, artifacts, is actually from the Warhammer universe because the original creatures, and this is where I'm going to nerd out, the original creatures, when I first got into Warhammer, the Carnifexes were these massive aliens. They had this red exoskeletons and they were so badass. They were the first aliens I ever cheered for in a video game. So that's why when I, when I made my merch, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to call this the Carnifex color. But yeah, no, listen, you want to get the Sebon Zakuro one, go for it, man. That pink color is beautiful. I mean, red, I chose for myself because obviously red's my favorite color. So if I'm going to wear a hat, then it's got to be red. Space Marines are okay. I'm an Imperial Guards fan. <laughs> I mean, I play Dark Tide and I'm a Dark Tide partner, so... It, it stands to reason that Imperial Guards are my jam. Dude, the Carnifex aliens are freaking crazy. Although now they, they kind of made them uncool. Like the old, like the old models, like the really old models from like 10, 20 years ago for the Carnifex. Now those models were freaking badass. They were genuinely sick. Like the real old models. Man. That was cool. Now the Carnifex models are kind of like... Because they tried to standardize a lot of the army models. They don't look as cool. I've never bought any of that. Because obviously too broke ass to ever afford that kind of a hobby. But the original Carnifexes were fucking sick. Now those I loved. So whenever I've got something with a really nice red color. I always, I always call it Carnifex. Which also stand, which also means executioner. A little bit of knowledge right there. There's no such thing as one being better than the other one. Also, did you just call the chain blades China Blade? Might want to watch your spelling there, buddy. <laughs> My favorites are the chain blades, but realistically, there it's not that uh, one is better than another. What weapon you use depends on your playstyle, dude. Like, do you like the playstyle? That's more important. There's no such thing as one weapon is better than another. If there was, then everybody would only use one weapon. It doesn't work that way. The weapon that you like has to fit your playstyle. That's very important. No, um, Carnifex means executioner in Latin. Actual, actual human Latin, not not Warhammer language. I mean, technically, the Warhammer language of High Gothic is basically Latin. <laughs> they just they just took Latin and you know slapped a few cool terms on it. But yes, Carnifex is actually executioner.
That's why the uh, staff, the flame staff that I use in, in uh, Dark Tide, the actual name is Pur Purgatus. Sorry. But I pronounce it as Purgatus and piss off everybody. But it's actually Purgatus. Pagatum. So, if you look at the actual Latin pronunciation, I'm pronouncing it hella wrong. But I like to I like to wind people up, so I just call it Purgatus. <laughs> it depends on the build, Jax. There's no such thing as I need to get this legendary first. Doesn't work that way. What you should do, what you should do, go look up the chain blade builds on my channel if you want to play chain blades. Check them all out, see what legendary weapon they require, and then go get that. You should First of all, the build must fit your playstyle. Do you want to use Bastion, Discipline, Iceborne? There's there's so many builds out there. Check them out. Check them out. Have a look. See what you need. After that, then um, you can you can you know go from there and say okay. So now I know what kind of build I want to create. Then how am I gonna you know go farm that stuff? That that's how you do it. You know, you you don't ever say like should I get this one first or that one first. Dauntless is not that sort of game. If if people convince you that Dauntless is that sort of game, they freaking lie to your face, bro. Here on the Robot channel, Dauntless is, sim is simplified. Okay, we keep it simple, we keep it real. All you gotta do is know which build you want to go for. Go for that build and then just focus solely on one thing. Getting the right stuff for said build. That's all it takes, buddy. That's all it takes. You're personally an orc fan, Terry. If you're new, then don't look at legendaries, dude. Go build the easy chain blade build first. Watch my beginner guide. Go build the easy chain blade build. If you re if you're new and you really want to do that, start there. Don't look for legendary stuff. Easy chain blade build and watch my beginner guide. The beginner guide's about 30 minutes, but that is the best place to start your Dauntless journey. Good luck. And welcome to being a newbie. But yeah, orcs are hilarious, dude. Like, uh, there was this joke in the in the Dark Tide Creator Discord a while back. Like, they said Fat Shark should just make a game where instead of playing as humans, we play as the orcs, right? And instead of Dark Tide, we call it Dakatide. Where we're just we're just like four random orcs. That are just like fighting against like the Imperium of Man. You know, and you just get get access to all the stupidest weapons ever. Like, I I, I it's, everybody in the creator discord loved that. They said they would like if they made DLC for Dark Tide called Dakatide instead, like everybody would just go insane. Like no matter how bad the launch was, I think everybody would just play Dakatide because it'd be stupid as frick. There are no games that let you play as orcs. Finger guns, lol. I just love the fact that orc technology doesn't actually work. It just it just works because they believe it works. Best stuff. I do, but it's only for channel members and top donators. So only the top supporters go into the Discord. Like Ripley over there. We are very selective because we get a lot of trolls. That's why I don't have an open Discord server.
Ugh. Chain blade slams. Always a pain. Then again, this is why I can kill high alert behemoths five levels above me. Uh, red makes things faster. Purple is for sneaking. Purple makes them invisible. Hey, bro, you, bro, you're already one of my top donors. You don't have to become a member as well. <laughs> okay. Your tips are more than enough, but thank you for that, Ripley. You kind, kind soul. I'm taking this week off rapping because of my music creation, but I'll make sure you get a preview next week of some of the new songs I'll be working on as well. Uh, for me, I just use the chain blades. Chain blades are my preferred weapon of choice because they're the best. There is no reason not to use chain blades. Unless you're like in team play like okay fair enough because in team play like there are certain weapons that do have better so-called effects for a team like for example repeaters benefit your team by increasing attack speed so for me if there's no other repeater main on the team i'll play a repeater war pike is great for team play because of the wounding so if there's no other war piker on the team i'll play a war pike chain blades are just straight dps they don't really contribute oh hammer is another great team weapon but I'm not that good at team hammer play. So yeah. In solo play, it's just choose whatever weapon you like. And of course, the chain blades are my ultimate weapon of choice. Because they're just so good. But when it comes to team play, I do make sacrifices. But then again, I'm a great repeater player as well. Took a while since it was five levels above me, but it's done. My raw power. But I hope you look forward to the music previews, Ripley. Is it gonna be good? Okay, this is done. Pike can be a difficult one if you're not a natural at it. Some people are just naturally good at pike, some people are just not, so it really it really depends on you. Um well, you're still new, Jax, so most of the differences in the builds are covered in the build videos themselves. However, because you're new, please just watch the beginner guide and then the easy chain blade build. There's only one easy chain blade build. Well, I mean there's a 2.0 version that's just updated. So, I suggest you watch those first. You don't have to worry about the differences in build because you should not be looking at legendary weapons or legendary builds at all. Until you fully finish an easy build, don't touch any of the endgame builds because what you'll be doing is wasting your time. The easy build will help you get started with trials, the normal trials, so you can start working hard. And also, it'll help you farm a lot of stuff. So, it's very important that you first build your easy build. Oh, I know. I understand that, Ripley. I love performing for the people. I'm just not... I'm just saving my work this week because I am focusing, like, so hard on writing the music and, and working on that in the background, so I'm preserving my throat. But, like, next week, that's going to be in full swing again. Especially once I work out my... Once I work on my next two rap songs, it's going to be insane. Yep, there'll be a combat demo in each of the builds, but 
the most important thing is that if you're new Jax, please start with the easy build i guarantee you you will do a lot better with it if you choose to ignore that advice you will have a much tougher time in dollars and that's just the honest truth man Okay, I'm just going to go into the Umbral Escalation. Okay, while I go in, I'm going to go to the washroom. BRB. Okay, I am back. Oh my god, while well, I was gone. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. I mean, yes, that is obviously what I'll be doing here. If you go, if you walk into a 10 to 50, especially as a pro like me, and you don't even reach the end, that's just sad, man. It means the build is really not working. But this is why it's all part of combat testing. You need to ensure that things work. And that's why I tell people science, science, science. Test, test, test. It's too important. Never ever try and, you know, release something that you haven't thoroughly tested. Never ever release something that you haven't tested in extreme scenarios. In situations where you are weak and the enemy is strong. Because that is the only way to know if something's really going to work. That's the only real way to know.
Oops. with just a nice level 14 chain blades easy no they'll keep the same elements that they have yeah uh ripley already answered you so that's correct they will basically keep um whatever element they had initially pretty much exactly what terry said carlos the advice for a new player is number one, watch my beginner guide. Number two, start building the easy build for the weapon you enjoy. And don't worry, all weapons in the game are viable as long as you've got an Asian robot build. But you you need to test for yourself. That's why watching the beginner guide is so important because all of this stuff is covered in the beginner guide. It also teaches you how to build the first few sets like the Nasher set, the Boreas set. All that stuff very important for a new player. If you don't start the game the right way, you will struggle throughout, and, well, that's always no fun. So I highly recommend you watch the beginner guides first. If you really want to do well in Dauntless, you really want to have fun, start with the beginner guides, get used to it, learn the stuff in there, and then I promise you after all that, you will, you will get to have quite a lot of fun. Probably more so than other players that don't follow the robot way. Then you can stunt on them. I've seen many players tell me that when they end up in hunts, right, where other players are not using robot builds and they just stunt on them because it's just so easy to carry. like so when you have a good build when you have a weapon that fits you right you can you can choose like not even to pay attention to combat and you'll still win exactly like you're seeing me do now barely even paying attention to combat and we're still winning it's just easy peasy like that yeah no problem man i'm probably i'm gonna i'm about to finish up myself Because I've done the testing that I needed to, so I'm pretty much all good now. Later, I'll go make my video, shoot a video, that's about it. you mean two level three sharpened cells because there's the max is plus three but is it worth it or not it's up to you like if you're playing in a build where you feel that you deal too much damage and the enemy dies too quickly then you can absolutely use two sharpened cells to help yourself out by using the two sharpened cells you'll be able to lower your damage and increase your part damage so yeah 
on the, on the same weapon is fine. I mean, the max benefit is from six sharpen. You cannot the you cannot go beyond six anyway. So two level three sharpen cells. Okay, you need to get this process right. Don't ever have plus twelve sharpen on your build or something like that because you're gonna be you're gonna be a moron. Okay, two plus three sharpen cells. Maximum of plus six sharpen. Good enough. You cannot. There's no benefits beyond plus six anyway, and the game alerts you to that. So yeah, you can absolutely have two level three sharpen cells to get a plus six sharpen if you want to break parts if that's your goal right and you want to lower the overall damage you're doing that's when people use sharpen so for those that are really 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 i must get these parts they use sharpen for that purpose again all of this is also covered in my video how damage works in dauntless i highly suggest you watch that because it informs you of, well how how damage works and that makes the game a lot easier to understand once you know exactly what damage does. So if you if you find behemoths are dying too fast, you can take out damage cells and swap them to sharpen. Otherwise, use the raw damage cells, which still also increase your part damage, but kill the behemoths faster as well. So guys, there's a lot of information videos. Make sure you guys watch them all. Yep, I'm about done now. Um, I'm going to probably uh, take a little breather and then shoot a video on the earth cell and uh you know get get all that sorted out so thank you very much you guys have been a wonderful audience i will see you all uh later this evening on twitch now for those of you that don't know my twitch this is my twitch channel same name we'll be there playing overwatch 2 tonight all right have fun see you all later and thank you for the company <laughs>